So we have a black Defender, a white Volvo, and an Acura. That reminds me of MBNA Bank because the um, license plate has digits that are similar to MBNA Credit Card Bank. It was MBNA Maryland Bank of North America. Um, they had uh, the Cole House was their first building ever, and they created an empire out of the burgeoning um, credit card industry, which was a pioneering form of commerce back in the 80s. Um, and the Cole House was their first building it just so happens that you know my last name is Cole my sister's last name is Cole my dad my mom you know of course my mom and dad were divorced um, so by the time that building came around um, my mom kept the Cole last name but another woman would appropriate that name for her second marriage uh, but anyway and her husband her first husband lived in the apartments right across like kind of across the parking lot from the coal house. So the coal house plopped itself right smack dab in front of Mr. Ely's apartment complex and he would pass away in the 90s. Um, so um, I'm wondering if there was an imposition going on here or why he passed away in the 90s. And if the coal, if MBNA credit card bank had something to do with sticking its butt in Mr. Ely's face or by, or was something else going on? I don't know. There's also a Sharon Savings Bank here in Philadelphia that I wound up living close to, and it does feed into a conspiracy. My name is Sharon Cole, and I was made to believe I'd be murdered in my apartment at 626 South 19th Street, just south of Sharon Savings Bank on um, South Street, 19th and South. They have a bus here today. It's been here in the mornings or at night and I haven't seen it during the day. I'm still kind of morning-ish, I guess. Um, but anyway, it's been here for a few days. The Black Lives Matters, Black Bus, you know, you can text at 25225. 252 comes up a lot because it's in my, uh, my uh, social security number. Oops, yeah, that truck just pulled away and hit a tree branch there next to, uh, near the Black Sheep. Um, bar just north of it but anyway on that MBNA car the Acura they have 1796 which reminds me of 1976 and 76 is always affiliated with Philadelphia because of the 76ers the Constitution was ratified in 1776 I was I turned six years old at the end of 1976 but 7096 also 96 was a turning point for many people I'm kind of curious what happened in your life in 1996, Tupac Shakur, uh, conspiracy theory, he died in 1996. 96 is part of someone's pattern, it comes up all the time in the news. Um, should we go or? Um, <laughs> so, um, anyway, but back to the Sharon Savings Bank and the Cole House, and my name being Sharon Cole, and two different banks sort of being connected too closely to my family. Um, I also have, there's another issue that sprung up. <laughs> it has to do with the word spring. So there's a Sharon Savings Bank in Springfield, um, which is west of the city here. It's pretty far west, you know, but it's doable like on a bike. If you had a bike, walking would be a bit much, you know, but anyway, it's west of West Philadelphia. I looked into like tooth extraction because I wound up with a severe, agonizing, excruciating toothache, number 15, upper left. Um, it just so coincided, it just so happens that it coincided with um, the Smile Direct Dental Club facility shooting um, in 2021, first week of August 2021. A lot of things happened that week. I wound up with a major searing toothache. Um, and also the Pope would receive or was sent three bullets in the mail, according to the news. And also three men were shot and injured, not killed, in an Airbnb in the neighborhood at 13th and Lombard here in Philadelphia. All that happened during the first week of August 2021. And I wondered what was going on with my tooth. Lo and behold, during the primaries for mayor, she appeared like uh, Sherelle Parker uh, put her hat in the ring for as a mayoral candidate. She did wind up winning ultimately during the primaries. 
she, when she won the primaries, before she would run against her final running mate, she wound up with a major emergency toothache and couldn't um, commence or couldn't uh, do her, um, what do I want to say, acceptance speech. So she had to bail out and not give an acceptance speech um, during the primaries because of her major toothache. And I, I was like, what's up with toothaches? So anyway, I look up different dentists. I'm kind of curious, like, how much it costs to extract a tooth. I did this recently because the swelling died down, my toothache went away. Every once in a blue moon, it flares up a little bit, but if I drink a lot of water, it goes back down. So I'm keeping the, um, if there's an infection, root canal, you know, I had one dentist say a root canal would be helpful. Um, but anyway, I kept thinking, can I just get rid of these two teeth in the back? Cause they keep annoying me for some reason. And my, I keep wanting to, nurse those two teeth for some reason with my tongue basically um number 15 and 16 upper left in the back so i just happened upon happened upon a dentist called aspen dental i look them up because they have really good verbiage and they're very clear and they say oh it's like 129 per extraction and i was like that's not too, it could be worse so say you spend 300 dollars to get two teeth extracted or 129 for one plus whatever they add on for other fees. You know, at least it's not like three to $5,000. I don't have dental insurance right now, so that's an issue. So anyway, um, I look at their address and I look at the map and they are near Mount Sharon Cemetery. And I was like, uh oh, is that a death sentence? If I get my teeth extracted, like, are my teeth important? Do they need to stay in? Number 15 has a, not a crown, but a filling. Um, the teeth that had crowns, like molars or whatever, they were removed ages ago, like in the late 90s. The teeth, anything I have left would be more of a filling. Um, and their upper left and upper right both have fillings, like, you know, in the second to the last tooth. That's all I have left in terms of metal in my mouth, per se. Um, someone had a conversation with me once and they thought it sounds like you wound up with a lot of crowns and fillings as a child and we're wondering if your dentist was a little overzealous in making money for himself and if you had insurance you know people back in the day might have gotten away with that kind of stuff and um i didn't know we just went to dr mckinney he's retired now he was on the corner of New London Road and another road that was near like a Rite Aid, not a Rite Aid, like a Pathmark or a Thriftway supermarket. Um, and um, anyway, I liked him. He was actually a good doctor, I thought. Like I didn't feel, like I felt good in his presence, safe and all that other stuff. I've been to dentists, you know, as an adult and I haven't liked anyone except for most recently down at Sunrisa in Old City at Dental Arts and he did what I expected. I felt actually outright abused by other dentists that I've been to. That includes Rit 